Hey guys, William Padilla Brown coming at you from the homestead here in New Cumberland. I'm doing a little cleanup here. Um, as I move to Asheville, I'm just cleaning up, harvesting some of the things. I do have to harvest some of these things a little bit early. Um, it's like uh, the beginning of October right now. Um, so I'm harvesting some of this Egyptian wheat. Um, we have a wonderful diversity of colors from red, orange, uh, purples, and blues. Nice diversity. I really like the grain on this. Um, so far I've grown sorghum and this Egyptian wheat. The sorghum definitely produced more grain for me, um, but it looks like we have way more straw material um, from this Egyptian wheat. So that's something that you're also going to want to think about if you're going to be cultivating grains for uh, mushroom cultivation. Um, so this is just a small lot. Uh, we only have enough grains to just uh, utilize for a little bit of culinary purposes. If I really wanted to, I could use those grains for uh, mushroom cultivation, but I think it'd be way better to just use those beautiful grains for culinary purposes and buy some cheaper grains for mushroom cultivation at this point. Um, but uh, just a lot of lessons learned. I'm going to definitely try it again next